Welcome to the Rock and Roll and Good News program. I am David Esposito, founder and managing partner of Harvest Time Partners and host for today's program. If you have not done so before, please review the background on the program, which is available on our YouTube channel and our website at HarvestTimePartners.com. As we begin this episode, please know that you matter. Regardless of what you are struggling with, regardless of the depths of your sorrows, and regardless of how lonely you feel, the good news is that you matter. I know you may not feel it right now, but you do matter. I hope this message nourishes you in the most meaningful way to comfort you and strengthen you to keep climbing into the ring to face your battles. Today's episode is titled Friendship Part One. Today's episode starts with a song from Joe Cocker entitled With a Little Help from My Friends. Many of you may be familiar with the familiar chorus I'll get by with a little help from my friends. Please spend a few minutes listening to any version you can find on the internet. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that song. Although Joe Cocker is not necessarily a household name, the chorus of I'll get by with a little help from my friends has resonated throughout generations as an anthem to remind us that with some friends at our side, we can endure just about anything. The bonds of friendship help to bring emotional, mental, and physical strength to us so we can meet the day-to-day challenges we all face. The song helps us reconnect with the truth that we all need others in our lives to help reach our full potential. Even though we all may be conditioned to think that we need to demonstrate our toughness and endure the challenges of life on our own. The truth is that we all need some close friends to join us in our journey to be our best for those we care about most at home, in our workplace, and in our community. When we look into the ancient scriptures, we find there are some wonderful examples of friendships that can be good reminders to all of us about the importance of friends. These examples will help to encourage us to be a friend to those in need and also ask friends for support when we are struggling. The story of David and Jonathan in 1 Samuel chapter 20 is a wonderful story of friendship that we should all become familiar with. Please take a moment and find a version of this scripture on the internet. The backdrop of this situation is that David has grown into a strong warrior and great leader after he killed the giant Goliath as a young boy. David is growing in popularity throughout all of Israel and Saul, the present king of Israel, has grown very jealous of David. Saul begins to make several attempts to kill David and remove him from contention to be the next king. Saul's son, Jonathan, becomes a close friend to David. Jonathan realizes that his father has become a selfish, jealous king. He grows to love and appreciate the leadership and potential of David and makes a commitment to protect him. Jonathan displays a great ability to manage loyalty to his father, King Saul, while also looking out for and protecting his dear friend, David. As the story unfolds, Jonathan routinely listens to his father's plans to kill David and then sneaks off to tell David what is about to happen so David can avoid these dangerous situations. Throughout many of these encounters, David and Jonathan grow deep in their bond of friendship. David, even though he has become a mighty warrior and great leader with thousands of men loyally serving at his side, He realizes he needs the bonds of close friendship to reach his full potential. David and Jonathan both come to realize how important friendship is to a fulfilling life. David and Jonathan also come to realize that the king is very powerful and these secret meetings and their friendship will eventually be found out. 
They agree to go their separate ways so Jonathan can serve his father and David can build his support to be the next king of Israel. However, they make a bond that they will always remain friends and look out for each other for the rest of their lives. Their commitment is perfectly captured in 1 Samuel chapter 20, verse 42. And I quote from the ancient scripture, Jonathan said to David, go in peace, for we have sworn friendship with each other in the name of the Lord, saying, the Lord is witness between you and me and between your descendants and my descendants forever. Then David left and Jonathan went back to town. The message of friendship we find in the story of David and Jonathan highlights the need of all of us to have a close friend to help us reach our full potential. It also highlights that we need to be a friend to others and can't just exist in this world looking out for only ourselves. It is important in the journey of our lives that we learn to serve others in the bonds of friendship. God demonstrates his friendship to us and we need to demonstrate that friendship to others around us. Take a moment to reflect on the following questions. Who do I have in my close friendship circle that I can call on in times of need? When have I been a friend to someone in need and what was the outcome for them and me? As you continue along in your journey, Please remember that we all cannot be our best in this world when we are all alone. Close friends are critical to share our joys and lessen our sorrows. If you find yourself in a dark valley today, please remember two things. Number one, God promises and is always faithful to be our friend who sticks closer than a brother as described in the ancient scriptures and we should call on him in our time of need. And number two, please reach out to a close friend to talk through things, and please consider me as one of your friends today. As you continue to reflect on this message, please take a moment to search the internet to find and listen to Bruce Springsteen singing, When You Need Me. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this message, and as we conclude this message, please know that you matter. Regardless of what you are struggling with, regardless of the depths of your sorrows, and regardless of how lonely you feel, the good news is that you matter. I hope this message nourished you in the most meaningful way to comfort you and to strengthen you to keep climbing into the ring to face your battles. This concludes today's episode entitled Friendship Part One. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive updates on new episodes and log on to our website at harvesttimepartners.com to explore the many products and services we have to help you be your best for those you care about most. And feel free to reach out to me directly at david at harvesttimepartners.com or call or text my mobile number at 269-370-9275. Thank you for listening.